In this movie, I'll be giving a quick overview of the new features in Loop Cloud 6, including audio filters, AI searching and tagging, new effects, sample export options, and also the new dark theme. Let's kick off with the theme, which you can select in the preferences under the color scheme tab, where there's now, in addition to light and dark, neutral dark, which makes the app look pretty sweet. On the sample searching side, the first massive addition is to the audio filters area in the sidebar, which used to contain only key and BPM options, but now contains a load of other parameters for narrowing down a search. This means if you're looking for sounds in a fairly broad instrument category like percussion, you can refine the results further by choosing things like tone, which focuses the sample on a certain part of the audio spectrum to find predominantly high or low frequency sounds as well as being able to set how much stereo width and rhythmic density they have, so you can much more accurately describe the kind of sample that you're searching for. And these filters can also be used when searching within a particular sample pack. The next big update is a significant upgrade to the app's intelligence, with new AI features currently in beta making their way into the searching and tagging facilities both in the store and your own library. They can be accessed using the Match button, which opens a menu with three new options. Find Similar Sounds is a really useful one if you like the character of a particular sample. You want to conduct a search to find more samples just like it. Meanwhile, there are two options for searching for complementary sounds, with harmonic and rhythmic matching, allowing you to have Loop Cloud suggest samples for you, if you're unsure of where exactly to go next, or just need some new inspiration. When adding your own content into Loop Cloud, the AI also now analyzes and tags up samples, so it can work out things like the instrument without having to look at the sample name. So this can be another great time saver on the organizational front. The effects section has several excellent updates with three brand new effects, which are compressor, EQ, and lastly, tone box for adding saturation and dirt. And preset selection can now be done on the actual effect. which is a really welcome new feature. Finally, sample exporting has undergone a pretty big change with there now being a single button in the corner of the player, which is configurable via its own settings pop-up, allowing you to export original or processed versions of the samples in the selected track or all tracks as you prefer by drag and drop or click and paste methods. And there's also a command or control and E shortcut for saving samples straight to a location on your computer. So just a quick look at the new features in Loop Cloud 6 there. For more detailed info, check out the separate movies on each area of the app. See you next time.